thinking that I could have done something But now I'm left with an empty heart No making amends, no waking up beside you And holding you till we forget it all very misty booster and a very um, not so thirsty A6. So when Audi dropped the A6 off, it um, on the range it said 1,050 kilometers. I then drove it for about 150 kilometers and it said 1,050 kilometers on the range. And I thought to myself, how far can we drive an Audi A6 on one tank of fuel. Now, I'm not gonna do any of that like crazy economy run stuff where everything's like in efficiency mode and they put like tape over the grills and they like close stuff up because to make it more aerodynamic. I wanna do like an economy run in the way that you or I would drive a car normally. So like, we'll drive at the speed limit all the way. I'm going to use the cruise control excessively for that. Because A6 has cruise control as well as the radar guided cruise control, which is pretty cool. So this is the Audi A6 40 TDI, which means it's got a 3 litre diesel engine in it. It produces 140 kilowatts. So it's a great car for the open road. Wait now, but I can't seem to take the lead. coming into Robertson and it is so misty through here I can hardly see anything so I'm driving a good 40 kilometers an hour below the speed limit which is doing wonders for the economy this car's already down at six liters per hundred which is that's really good <laughs> okay so we have hit exactly 200 kilometers I'm sitting just outside Montague I'm about to go through this really cool little Montague pass the um Fogs all on that side of the mountain, so it's uh, looks like clear skies. Exactly five hours to Oetswaran, 437 kilometers. And the car says I can still do another 770 kilometers. Um, I've basically driven from Cape Town to Oetswaran on a quarter tank of petrol. So we're coming up to another one of my absolute favorite passes, the um, Otaneko Pass, which kind of comes out in George. And um, so you go from Oetswaran to George and um, Kind of goes right over the top of the Swartberg Mountains. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I want to do some fusion work as well, so I'll probably go over, turn right, come back, and then go down again. Just going to hurt the fuel economy, but at this point, we're doing 5.7 liters per hundred, so uh, I'm not like too fussed about it.
are exactly 500 kilometers into this. We should put in reverse, it goes backwards. We're 500 kilometers into this trip on the dot, like literally 500.8. Um, I've been down the mountain, back up the mountain, and then I've stopped a couple of times back down the mountain. We are still on 5.7 liters per 100, and the car tells me, car tells me that I can still do 670 kilometers. Um, I may have underestimated this route. I don't think I can drive another 670 kilometers today. I want this to be like a real world test of what this car could actually do. You don't, you don't want to get in this and go watch a YouTube video of some guy going, oh, you can drive like 1500 kilometers in this car. And then you drive it and you get like 900. And you go like, what? But that guy didn't even stop. He was like pissing into a bottle. and we'll see, see what's left on the tank. Um, right now though, the sun is busy setting. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm looking for a spot to stop and get some pictures. But on the end one, just outside Worcester, it turns out that there is just nowhere to actually stop or even get off the end one. So I'm probably gonna have to go much further that way, get off and then come all the way back to try and get some light. get to two or three pictures um, the only place I could get off the road was in this little like driveway which is actually part of some dude's farm so I got some pictures from behind and then uh, when I went around to shoot the front of the car and I wanted to move the car I heard a guy shouting and then I heard dogs barking and I looked up and there were like two or three like really big dogs and they were like coming my direction and I wasn't like inside any house property but all the gates between me and the property were open and um, so yeah, I just, I ran back to the car and I legged it out of there. Um, so, got something, I suppose. Prepare to turn left. I know, I know. nearly home so far I've done 973 kilometers decided not to stop for night shots um, actually did that a night or two ago so there's quite a lot of b-roll stuff um, the b-roll stuff's all going to be on IGTV on Instagram so if you don't already follow me on Instagram hit me up on Instagram 
there's a ton of like the b-roll behind the scenes stuff that i post there all in all roughly a thousand kilometers there's still 290 kilometers left on the range so I, my thoughts on this is just quite simple like the route I went today and the kind of driving that I did um, was not really very conducive to sort of being very economical yet this car did staggeringly well I reckon if you did like a Cape Town Joburg trip and you locked in the cruise control at like 110 which seems to be the sweet spot in this car 120 it starts using a bit more fuel at 100 it's just a little bit slow 110 is like 110 is a sweet spot um but if you went to a cape town joburg you locked it in at 110 and you were just patient and you didn't stop very often um i reckon you could actually get close like Kruin start if not closer um so yeah 1200 1250 on this tank is very very doable um so yeah pretty pretty impressed figures at this point are 5.5 liters per hundred i reset the clock this morning so that's just today literally went filled up um i've had the car for a couple of days so i used a little bit of fuel uh topped it up again this morning reset everything so since leaving here this morning i've done 5.5 liters per 100 i've been driving for 11 hours and 43 minutes um so that's almost 12 hours of driving um average speed of 83 kilometers an hour which is not bad oh um it's got automatic headlights this thing's got those cool automatic headlights where they're on and then when there's light coming at you from the front it just kind of blocks out the bits that are it's really cool it's really really cool where were we average speed of 83 kilometers per hour and at this point 975.3 kilometers let's see as we pull into the driveway yes yes and we're home at 975.3 kilometers i still have a quarter tank left range says 280 kilometers this car has been an absolute pleasure to drive for 11 hours and 45 minutes.